Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. Uh, I've got a friend who is completely obsessed with Kurt Russell. Uh, so much so that he just started a podcast with his buddy called Kurt Russell Rules. Um, they've got one or two episodes up now, and the one I just listened to takes a deep dive into the role he played in Escape from New York. It's a it's kind of a fun time for those of us who just really, really like Kurt Russell. Um, I'll put a, a link to the podcast in the description below. Um, but anyway, so because it's Christmas, I decided to paint Kurt Russell for him, obviously, as Santa Claus. Uh, in turn, he made a bonus episode for the podcast, uh, analyzing how Kurt Russell's outfit measures up to other Santa Clauses. Um, I think it's wonderful, so I asked if I could include it here while showing off my painting, and he said yes, so here we are. Hope you enjoy it. Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome to Kurt Russell Rules. We have a very special episode for you today. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. Joe and I went splitsies for you all in the form of a bonus episode. That's right. Yes, we did, Ian. You know, this time of year, it's a special time of year. It's the holidays. And I think we would both be remiss if we did not mention uh, during this time of year, Kurt Russell's excellent portrayal as Santa Claus from the absolute classic Christmas Chronicles. This is not a review. I'll just go ahead and say that. This is not a review yeah, of the bonus movie. bonus episode. This is a bonus episode. Uh, We're going to be talking all about uh, Kurt and his actual look as Santa. Mm -hmm. But before we get into that, you know, Ian, you and I have been talking about just the, the image that we all have in mind as Santa. You know, everyone, I think, has a particular image in their mind, what Santa looks like. And we've been asking ourselves, where does that image even come from. Yeah, what's the source of it? The depictions of Santa that mm -hmm. we're all familiar with mm -hmm. actually have their roots in the poem The Night Before Christmas, mm -hmm. which was originally published in 1823, titled A Visit from St. Nicholas, which is now attributed to Clement Clark Moore. So, interestingly, happy 200th anniversary to that poem. Happy 200th. Very cool. Yeah, we nailed it. Yeah, very cool. Uh, we're going to sidestep the rabbit hole that is the origins of St. <laughs> Nicholas because well, this is a bonus episode and we don't have time. Um, however, the poem did inspire images that were drawn for Harper's Weekly in 1863 yeah. by Thomas Nast and ultimately the now super iconic illustration done by Haddon Sunbloom right. in 1931, which is the Coca-Cola Santa. Yeah, very, yeah. very cool. Very so cool. I think... It might be fair, Joe, to quickly go through the lines in the poem yep. uh, to see how Kurt and maybe other portrayals stack up to it. Let's do it. All right. Let's dive in. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, mm. and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Mm -hmm. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. Wow. All right. I think we can agree that gives us a solid baseline. Now, the question is, what are the other memorable Santas to stack this up against? That's a great question, Ian. Uh, well read there, by the way. That was Thanks. an excellent poem. Yeah, you sounded welcome. really nice doing it. We've compiled a list here of what we think are really some of the top Santas that really have ever been created. Mm -hmm. uh, various mediums. We haven't kept this just to film. Uh, we have some other ones here, such as print, animation, things along those lines. So this is our top list. And, uh, my, you know, there might be some people that disagree with us, but between me and you, this is as good as it gets. Yeah, this is top, top yeah, tier Santa's. Yeah, top, top, top. So the first one we have, obviously, uh, on the list, these are, these are in no particular order, by the way. Yeah, but first one we have uh, Tim Allen from the Santa Claus franchise. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been going strong for about 25 years now, which is crazy. Insane. Yeah, it is insane. Insane. Uh, the next one we have is Coca-Cola Santa which has been around for decades yeah. uh, now, which is, as everyone knows, just the quintessential kind of painterly approach to Santa uh, that you see in the Coca-Cola advertisements. 
Next one we have is your classic Rudolph Santa from the immortal classic Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Rankin Bass animation. Uh, the Santa in that one, which is a very, very nice portrayal. Then we also have Miracle on 34th Street Santa, the original. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the year right now, but obviously the black and white film. Very iconic Santa there. All very different, I would say. Different things they bring to the role and the look. But yeah, that's the list we've got together here. And we're going to see how uh, old Kurt stacks up yeah it's a great list of santas uh, and i think the poem gives us four solid categories to rank yep. these on we've got the suit mm-hmm. the face the beard yep and the bod yep so for the suit interesting there's no red mentioned in the poem right it's just a suit head to toe and fur which is kind of funny to think about mm-hmm. supposedly saint nicholas would have worn red and white historically hence where we get santa's classic look yep so i think it's fair to still take that into consideration here yeah uh, it also notes the suit being tarnished with ashes and soot so joe who wore it best? All right, Ian, this is a great question. A lot of these are really clean looking. We have some really nice, bright, crisp reds and whites. The thing to me, and I'm not saying this is just a Kurt Russell fan, but the thing that stands out to me about Kurt's is the fact that it really does look a little bit more worn. Yeah, it does. I, yeah. It looks like it's actually, you know, been used for a long time now. Even though it does look kind of timeless, you can see the wrinkles, some of the... I don't want to say tears, but maybe some dirt, some of the grime. Yeah, there. it's classic. He's, it's clean, right. but it's it seems used. It's 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 seen some use. I think you see that both in the uh, the red kind of leathery uh, material there, but then you also have in the uh, the trimming the fur. It's not super super bright white like a lot of the other portrayals. Yeah, some of the other ones like all the other ones we mentioned kind of have that synthetic feel a yes. little bit to them. Yes, yeah. they do. A lot of the other ones feel a little like magically clean. Like they're just always yeah. perfect. And his feels again a little bit more earthy like it, it is it does look like something he maybe he might have made or Mrs. Claus Maybe. Might have made. And yeah. so I'm, you know, again, not just because I'm a Kurt fan, but I'm going to give it to Kurt on this yeah, one. I Kurt think he has it. the best suit. Yeah. yeah. Hands down. Totally agree. Yeah. All right. The face. We've got twinkling eyes. We've got some dimples and mm-hmm. then rosy cheeks and a cherry nose, Joe. Mm-hmm. Who takes it here? You know, this was a tough one, but looking at all these faces, you know, they all have those qualities to varying degrees. Just for time's sake here, I'm just going to give it to Coke Santa. Yeah. The rosy cheeks, the red nose the full face it looks perfect yeah to the, to the degree of i think you could only really get that in an illustration yeah as perfect uh, as they do but agreed. he takes it yeah yeah he, he definitely takes that one home clear winner there clear winner agreed yeah all right next up we got the beard and all we know is it's a beard as white as snow i think this one's pretty straightforward as well kurt is uh is an interesting one just because his is more gray along with the rest of his hair yeah so it definitely diverges from the <laughs> it's got a good natural look to it right <laughs> it, does. Yeah, it diverges from the classic <laughs> the santa beard every... but <laughs> yeah yeah uh which is funny we're getting this technical about it but it's a really good looking beard for him yeah it's a great um, beard but i will say if we're saying what is the most accurate to the poem i've got to get this to to rudolph santa i do love rudolph santa's beard yeah. a lot too yeah it almost has that I mean, well, obviously it does because it's claymation, but uh, the synthetic <laughs> quality. <very> sculpted. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like perfectly rounded, but the thing that wins it for me is when it says it's like the snow, it almost has that like pearlescent yeah. look to it. Right. it. It really does look like snow. Yeah, Tim Allen's maybe could be close, but his yeah. looks just like one of the fake beards you'd put on. Yeah, is, exactly. Is no, I agree. Rudolph Santa takes it. Clear yeah. winner there. Yeah, clear winner. All Love right, that. last category, the bod. We know he's got a little round belly that shakes like a boy full of jelly yeah so we do and this is i could see this one being debated between the coke santa even rudolph santa uh tim allen santa the, something that's a bit of a the a knock maybe on kurt russell's performance is the yeah, fact that he's, he's pretty fit he's a fit santa yeah like the picture i'm looking at here it's it's like there's really no belly there no but you could say the same thing for miracle on 34th street santa sure you know he's, he's a pretty thin individual but given that and the description in the poem i've got to go with tim allen santa it Couldn't just, agree more. The amount, the <laughs> amount of uh, he gains weight in like no, what, overnight. Yeah, we can't go, we can't go super into it. But the, in the movie, yeah, he's just got the best Santa yeah, bottom just, of them all. He, he looks great. I love it. His portrayal is fantastic. Yeah, but that's that's how it breaks down for us in that four those four categories. I think it's a nice even spread there. I think so. I agree. Yeah, we've got some great portrayals here, some great looks. But I've got to say that you know Kurt, despite the belly. I've got to say that Kurt, in my opinion, still cracks the top five. Absolutely. Yeah. I think he's up there. And, you know, the look, I can't get too much into the details because we're going to wait for the actual episode. <laughs> no, you're right. It's it, killing me here. If it's the, in me. the Hall of Santa, Kurt's 
portrait belongs. Yeah, he'll be up there. He yeah. really will. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a classic movie. It's a classic look. I think they really took some nice liberties to get the look uh, a little bit different, but also hit some of those kind of key notes from the poem. And so I think they uh, did a great job there. I agree. So, yeah, yeah, a lot of strong portrayals. I say everyone needs to go watch Christmas Chronicles this and every future holiday season, Joe. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to you, Ian. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Everyone, thanks for listening. And this has been Kurt Russell Rules. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you, you like the painting and you like the podcast. Uh, I thought it was a good mix uh, together. So anyway, that's it for me. I uh, hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. And if I don't see you before then, have a Happy New Year. See ya. Bye.